Hey there guys, um, I want us to talk about um, COVID-19 pandemics and how people are actually profiting from these particular events, right? We all know that in uh, 2000 we had uh, the tech bubble, right? The tech bubble burst um, and a lot of people lost a lot of money. That was called the dot-com boom. Then we had the 2008 economic crash which you all remember and that was a, a financial collapse right the system just collapsed for a couple of years people lost a lot of their savings people lost a lot of their pensions people lost a lot of their jobs a lot of millionaires went when broke and people got were in, in in deep waters during that time and then last year we had a, something similar which was the pandemic which is sort of still around right now even though it's sort of coming to an end closer closer um slowly but surely but we need to understand one thing about um, these events and how people actually profit from them, right? And you can actually profit from an economic collapse, right? You can profit from a pandemic. A lot of people have been have, have actually don't understand how that happens, right? So right now we have a crash that we, which is coming up. People are saying the worst uh, re a recession or they call it a financial depression, right? I mean, it's about to happen. Some say it's around the corner. Some say it'll be, it'll be next year. Some say it'll be two years. Regardless of whatever's going to happen, either a pandemic or an economic collapse, we need to take advantage of it. And as a crypto guy, I'll tell you what you're to do and how it happens for, for why events like this are usually the best times for you to take advantage of. So in the last part, uh, part event, which is the pandemic, a lot of people went some people that went broke some people went rich now capitalists love it when events like this happen right they love it when pandemics happen they love it when crashes happen because that's time for them to capitalize and take advantage of uh, people's weak points take advantage of very very low low markets so yeah understand that if the next pandemic comes or if the next if the next crash comes you have to be in a position to take advantage of it for an example, there's a reason why I love cryptocurrency mining. Because as a, as a cryptocurrency miner, you're going to be so much focused on the bad things that are happening around the world. Right? For an example, as a cryptocurrency miner, my wish is for the market to go down, like really, really down. And there's a reason for that. Is because I need the volume of cryptocurrencies to increase. If the volume increases, I'm happy because I'm taking advantage. People have sold. I'm actually there for the taking. The thing about when there are crashes or there are pandemics or these particular events, when they happen, they don't happen forever, right? There's always going to be a bounce back. And when that bounce back happens, those people that fell, they're going to struggle coming back and I, the capitalist, will be the first person to bounce back because immediately, once their recovery begins, you know, I own the banks now. So... When it comes to, let's say, maybe you're in the stock market or you're in real estate, right? You want to, let's say, buy land. During a crash, during a recession, um, people go broke, businesses go broke, no one has money. So if you live in Botswana, someone says, okay, this this land here on a normal day would cost around 200,000 gula. During a, a, a pandemic or a crash, that particular price tag is going to go down to at least 5,000 or 2,000 gula. That's an example of taking advantage of these particular pandemics. And then you take advantage of it and you buy it. But when you buy it, just know that during a recovery, you're always going to go back to selling that particular land for 200,000 gula. I mean, the, the, the returns on that are, are crazy. I mean, that's sort of like a 2,000% um, profit or 2,000% profit. But you make more. So in relation to market, same thing. Because in the COVID-19, when it hit last year, I mean, the stock market went, I mean, it plummeted, right? Let's go back to 2008 and talk about the crash. They also, they went to, they, I mean, they literally went to zero. And capitalists were happy. Because no one can always buy that bag. I mean, they could buy it back when it's in the green. I mean, at that point, it's expensive. And you, the capitalist, you've gained big because you are always looking for these particular events to take advantage of. So... And in cryptocurrencies, it's sort of simple, even though it's a bit complicated, right? Um, so for me, as a miner, I'm pretty ready. I'm pretty set on knowing that when these events happen, I know which weak, weak points I'm going to like focus on. 
So in in, in uh, last year during the pandemic, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, they were the newcomers in the cryptocurrency um, arena, right? And Shiba Inu cost what 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 cost nothing at that point. It was zero point zero 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 zero. I think there was nine zeros, and then you have a digit at the end. It did grow a little bit, but it did become stagnant. It became stagnant because of COVID nineteen, and people like me took advantage of Shiba Inu, right? You take advantage of it because there's a pandemic going on now. Whenever Shiba Inu goes up, I hate it. Which people say that's very very weird. That's because I'm not a trader. I'm a cryptocurrency miner. Traders want it to go high because they want to make money out of it. For me, as a person who holds value, I don't want it to go high. I want it to go down because the more cryptocurrency goes down, the more the volume increases. The volume, I mean, the number of Shiba Inus that are circulating around the world. I'm gonna take those, and they're gonna be mine. And Shiba Inu is gonna be big tomorrow. Everyone is saying that. Elon Musk is saying that, right? All the crypto experts are saying that. The guys who were doubting Shiba Inu years ago, calling it a joke, are now saying we're all wrong. I never doubted Shiba Inu, right? But I never, I was never big on it up until I started mining. Then I knew this is the particular coin that I want. So right now, it 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 well, it had grown in the last month or so by I think the 200 percent but now it went down and I'm happy when it goes down it's now I think 0 0.504 at some point it was 0 0.509 so that was high but now I can actually mine more so um one of the things which um cryptocurrency miners are sort of we can put us in, in the bracket you can put us in the bracket of uh, what what you call short I guess People that like to short possessions. Okay. Uh, it, when it comes to crypto, uh, when it comes to cryptocurrencies and stocks, where you are basically investing in something, there are two types of investors. There are long investors, long position holders, and uh, short position holders. Long position holders are people who actually uh, bet that things will go right. Right? If Bitcoin goes up, they benefit. If Ethereum goes up, they benefit. If shares goes up, they benefit. But short position holders are betting against. These are people that are saying, okay, no, we are saying if it goes down, it profit from it going down, right? So big, uh, cryptocurrency miners has, are in the line of short position holders in the sense that we are betting against, we want the market to go down. We actually embrace crashes. We embrace pandemics, right? And we, we sh you, should need, you need to look at what causes these events to happen. Why would a crash happen? Why would... The market go down so many events a world war could cause any an economic collapse right a uh, high inflation can also cause an economic collapse and the markets go down all right same thing goes to oil prices right the wars in the middle east a pandemic like covid19 which stops all businesses from running no money is coming in and the stock is going down so people like me look forward to those things doesn't mean we like when people die but people are still gonna die anyway during the pandemic we embrace um, the result of those deaths. So yeah, um, you need to always understand that um, when pandemics happen, that people are there that enjoy that money, right? That enjoy uh, actually um, accumulating uh, wealth out of that. Uh, don't look at it in a bad way and say, how can you guys profit people's death? It's not like someone dying actually means worry. You know, they're the ones that gave me the money. I them dying. Um, you know was as a result of me wanting money it's not the same so the next coming crashes and the next coming pandemics you need to be prepared for them um and you, you can be prepared for them if you're going to be um just uh, a, a person you know you can just say okay I'll, I'll get into it when the stock market goes down i mean you're not gonna know much you need to know much now and be ready for the for the next cr crash be ready for the next pandemic bill gates actually said that i think a couple of months ago he said there's going to be a new pandemic and this pandemic is going to be worse than covid19 uh, people like me are looking forward for, to that because um that's the time when uh, mining becomes very lucrative um you mine a lot of stuff right i can mine two different tokens at the same time um, can you imagine what Shiba Inu is going to be? It's probably going to be zero sevens again, and I can mine God knows how much in a day. So, always be prepared. As a cryptocurrency miner, it will be a bit tricky. You need to understand the technology, you need to have the mining equipment, you need to understand 
how uh, the blockchain works you need to have the software but that's something you can learn you can go to my youtube channel i actually do an in-depth uh i do some i can teach you a couple here there or you can also go to my facebook to the william you basically go and look at all those videos of crypto mining um that there i teach you the basics and what you need what you don't need so yeah um thank you guys for watching this video see you next time and uh, until we meet again thanks